Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Us Tarot. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Whenever you come across this video, oh my god, do you guys see the candle doing that? The flame's like, and my AC isn't on or anything, and my fan isn't on because of the noise. Why is it jumping so much? It's so cute. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, I think, it, no, it keeps going, you guys. Ooh, I'm excited. So, obviously, you guys can see today, we are going to be looking at um, messages from Spirit. Thank you guys for, like, all of you guys that answered in the last um, video for what you guys wanted to see. I didn't, I just left it open to you guys, obviously. Um... I didn't see like the same thing over and over again, so I just decided to do messages from spirit today, but you guys have so many amazing ideas, um, and you definitely will be seeing a lot of like the topics that you guys suggested. Please always feel free to suggest topics because I do read your comments. I know I haven't been replying um, to, like in the last videos just because it's been, you know, I got sick and then before that I was busy. So you guys, I still am going to go back um, to go reply, but I do read your comments, you guys, you guys are incredibly sweet, have really good ideas, so I know someone said, um, I've actually gotten suggested to do Zodiac readings, I do want to do that in the future, as of right now, I just don't see myself having time for that specifically, but I am, in the future, I do want to implement that, um, I also saw, like, uh, videos for, like, the week, um, just like what your week ahead would be, I definitely want to start implementing that as well. So I'll probably start uploading those on Sunday nights and maybe doing messages from your person Saturday. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, I also saw a topic like, what is your inner child trying to tell you? Ooh, I love that one. I was almost going to do that today. Um, and I just decided, I don't know, I got really called to do the messages from spirit, you guys. So we're going to do this for today. I'm going to stop rambling. Question of the day, you guys. Um, what was my... Okay, yeah. So the question of the day was, what is the most courageous thing that you have ever done? Uh, just ever, in your opinion. It could be about anything. It doesn't have to be regarding love, or, but it can be, okay? Um, if you're brave enough <laughs> to put that down below to answer. And if it's, it doesn't even have to be about you, I guess you can also think about what is uh, the most courageous thing someone has done for you, all right, if you don't want to answer the first one. And my dog is having a dream, so he's breathing really hard. Hold on, Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was having a dream, you guys, sorry. Um, I don't like to see him like that. And yeah, I think, I think that's it, you guys, oh, I do want to announce this week, just just for this week, okay, um, I am stopping the personal readings. It's not going to be forever, like I said, it's just this week, just because I have a lot going on, but um, but yeah, I'm still going to be uploading and stuff, okay, onto the channel. Just no personal readings for this week. I will open it back up next week, okay? So yeah. Uh, and let's get straight into it because I've been talking forever. All right, my love. So we have three beautiful piles in front of us here today. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So pile one is with this clear quartz. Pile two is with the blue lace agate. And pile three is this little... Um, rose quartz. So take your time, you guys. If you guys feel called to more than one pile, that's completely fine. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds. And with that, I'm going to start pile one. Hey, pile one, for those of you guys that chose the clear quartz, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say to you today, okay? Um, yeah, 
I forgot to mention, and this won't be for everyone because I know not everyone cares, but I am going to start linking down below the color of my nails because I get a lot of questions and sometimes like emails asking. So yeah, I'll, ha I'll start having that information down below so we can match if you guys want to get the same color. <laughs> um, okay, so pile one. I did want to start with this card from the Moonology deck. So it says you're very close to achieving your goal. Interesting. So what is it? I feel like you guys definitely have something that you guys have been working towards, wanting to achieve. I'm curious as to what it is. If you guys do pick pile one, if you guys want to let me know down below, you can. And if you want to keep it to yourself, that's completely fine as well, you guys. We are starting off with the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Star, the Emperor. Let me get the bottom of your deck here. I love the two major arcana, one after the other. I really like that energy, actually. Um, all right, and let's, and yeah, I will fix the camera. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so pile one, give me a second to take a look at your tarot. Okay, you guys, so what is it that spirit is trying to tell you? What is their message to you, you guys? Okay, pile one. So I do feel like, okay, so the first card out is we do have the Ace of Swords here. I do feel like um, Spirit is saying you have some sort of clarity on something, okay? It, it'll be different for all of you guys depending on what situation you're in. We're going we're gonna to delve into it a little bit more in just a minute. Um, yeah, but I am seeing that you have some sort of clarity when it comes to, um, I almost want to say like plan that you have or something that you have in mind. Again, I do feel like it's connected to this goal that you have in mind, okay? Now, what I'm seeing play a big part is you having hope and allowing destiny to just take its course. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, I do see like, you know, it is a card about divine timing and a lot of times like a miracle blooming up okay so i do feel like you guys um remain hopeful about whatever this goal is all right spirit is saying to do that and allow divine timing to take course because we do have the emperor here and you know sometimes the emperor he's great he, he is great however sometimes the emperor does try to be in control of things and without knowing pile one, sometimes you guys maybe can get into that energy too where you, um, cause let's, let's be, let's get real, right? I feel like a lot of us do like, yeah, we like control over our lives, right? We don't want to let anyone else run the show or anything like that. Like tell us how to do things, but, um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor showing up in the same spread, like, I feel like you guys do sometimes try to interfere with that unknowingly. Like, I don't think you guys are sitting there and saying, like, you know what, divine timing, get out the way, I call the shots. It's nothing like that. Like, I don't see that you guys are being forceful, like, against the universe or anything like that. However, you do have, um, you do make your choices, right? You obviously do have free will and stuff, and I feel like pile one, sometimes the choices that you make, or yeah, I am seeing it as like choices. I feel like sometimes the choices that you make, or maybe just even the way that you think or act, it'll be, again, it'll be different for all of you guys, pile one, can get in the, like, it can come out of control, okay? Like, because you're wanting to either control an outcome or um, control how something happens, and the Wheel of Fortune being here, Spirit is saying you don't get to do that, 
okay? You do get to, like, you do have control of having faith, right? Trusting in the plan. Um, having clarity of, like, what you want to happen and, like, um, what it is that you want to achieve, right? Those things you can have control over. But because um, it is your mind, it's your heart, right? It's where your heart lies. However, not how things unfold uh, or when they unfold, right? Um, yeah, that is a very specific message. Underlying energy is the seven of wands. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crowning energy is the six of cups. Overall energy is the ten of cups. I love that. What's here? Hmm. We have the five of pentacles as the extra card, you guys. Yeah. I feel like, mm, I feel like whatever the situation is, okay, I feel like maybe some of you guys are, like, have a little bit of fear that you're going to be left out in the cold, okay, um, regarding whatever the situation is, okay. I will say, pile one, crowning energy is the six of cups. It could involve, or it could, whatever this is, okay, pile one, it could involve a reconciliation with someone. Just because I do see that that's on someone's mind, is reconciling with someone, getting back in touch with someone, um, or even, okay, if it's not that, it could be like actually offering something to someone because that little boy is offering something to that little girl, okay? Um, it... Okay, it'll be different for all of you guys again, pile one, but I am seeing that. And with the seven of wands here, I feel like I am really connecting this with the emperor, pile one. You guys are kind of, uh, either you guys are stopping yourselves or you guys are being kind of like resistant towards something. I'm not really sure what this is, but I am seeing this lying in your subconscious. And um, because like it is in your subconscious, you still feel it, right? Like maybe you don't, again with the emperor, like I am seeing maybe you don't realize that you're doing it, but it is getting in the way, I feel like of your happiness. Because overall energy is the 10 of cups. You guys, this is yours right? Like even the card that we opened with, I wanted to open with this card on purpose. That's why I had the, that, you know, showing up as the first card. And it says you're very close to achieving your goal. goal. So you guys, um, you guys are almost there. It's just, I feel like pile one, you have to learn how to trust um, and continue to have faith because this 10 of cups is yours. All right. And I feel like some of you guys are letting this get in the way of your happiness. I am getting a specific message that maybe for some of you guys, you kind of feel like um, you have to fight off other people. Now, that could be true for some of you guys, but for a lot of you guys, I feel like it's it's not true. Like there's not people against you. There's like spirit is trying to help you. Not they're not against you per se, okay? I don't know why such a specific message is coming through. Yeah, and my little sister's chihuahua is, like, barking, and she's very aggressive, so I feel like some of you guys, um, like, do get aggressive at times. Like, I'm gonna be very honest, Pio One. I feel like maybe even, like, your ego can show up a little bit, okay? Um, and when, like, all of our egos show up at times, okay, you guys, all of us have one, right um and I feel like at times pile one if you start to like I don't know I feel like if you guys start to get discouraged or if something scares you if you have a fear you let ego get in the way of you either pursuing something okay or believing in something you guys let me know what this is okay because again it is I want to keep it as a general message um but I am getting that, you guys, and Spirit is wanting to let you know, look, we're working in your favor and we're helping you, but you need to allow us to help you. For a lot of you guys, I will say it does revolve around uh, reconciliation with someone. 
Um, and you know that this is your happiness. You know that this is where your happiness lies. Yeah. I'm also seeing three tens. We have 10, 10, and the number 28, which is a 10, right? Two plus eight is 10. So 10, 10, 10. Um, definitely, I do see something ending here, okay? Um, obviously not the reconciliation. It's not that. It's like something has to end in order for this to happen. And pile one, I'm not sure if you know what that is. It could be ego. It could be thoughts. Okay. It could be like negative thinking. All right. Again, for a lot of you guys, pile one, I feel like you guys are in the way of yourselves almost kind of like maybe you guys are your own obstacle for some of you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, ego is the darnest thing. I gotta tell you, I hate it. <laughs> I do. I don't like, you know, using the word, you know, hate. I do use it, but <sighs> ego can be a tricky thing, let me tell you, because uh, like I said, we all get into moments like that. I do too, you know? Um, let's get into your oracle now. So we have, this card is really calling out to me. We have the number 28. It says hollow bone teachability. Yeah. I do feel like your spirit guides are trying to teach you something. Okay. Because teachab teachability is how teachable you are. <laughs> and I feel like sometimes you guys, um, again, I do see pile one. It is unknowingly. It's not like you guys are on purpose trying to get in the way of your dreams or anything like that, but you do end up becoming your own obstacle pile one. And spirit is kind of trying to get your attention to say, hey, I need you, like, you know how it says hollow bone? They do need you to hollow out. When you, when you think about something hollow, it's empty, right? So I don't know. I'm getting so many, like, so many messages with the emperor, you guys. You guys do need to be neutral right now. So pile one, if you're holding on to something, I might clarify this just because I'm feeling the need to now, but give me a second. If you guys need to, not need to, spirit is saying that you have to um, let go of everything for just a split second for like just a day or something like that, because they are trying to get your attention about something and you keep letting Mm, there is a specific message here. You keep letting the past because the six of uh the six of cups does represent past, like past connection past connections. And for a lot of you guys, I'm starting to get a message that it's just the past in general. You're letting that um interfere with how teachable you are for the universe. Because like let's say the universe is trying to teach you something, teach you a lesson, tell you a message. And you're not having, you're not wanting to hear it because you're like, well, this thing happened when I was six years old or this thing happened when I was 18. So like, I don't see how this would be different or, you know, like those are just examples, but that is literally the message that I'm getting from spirit is they're trying their best to get through to you. And right now you're not hollow enough for them to get through to you. They want you to clear out. things from the past and it doesn't mean that those things didn't happen okay and it doesn't mean that those things are invalid it doesn't mean that you didn't experience those things you experienced all of that but really spirit is one you know i feel like they're trying to teach you like humility um in some way shape or form pile one all right they do want you right now to just kind of set things aside and start from a clean um, place, okay? Literally, don't think about what happened five years ago. Don't think about what happened with this person. Don't think about what happened with your parents or how you saw this come out or this to be or, you know, what story you heard, you heard from a friend and, oh, well, this person said that or I believe this. Like, even your own beliefs set aside. Just, just literally put them aside. Because spirit, wow, I don't know why you guys are getting such a deep message, Pile One. If you guys want to share down below, I'm just like, I like to, I'm just curious as to how this resonates. Because I think this is like a really cool message. Um, yeah, it's a very humble message, you guys. I, I really, really like this. But Pile One, 
just set that aside because they are trying to tell you things. They're trying to feed you more, okay? And believe it or not, whatever they're trying to feed you is leading you towards your happiness. But for some of you guys, you guys are getting in the way of yourselves because, um, I'll be very honest, it could be just negative thinking. I am seeing that. Like, you guys have fears and you let the fears get in the way, okay? Um... Yeah, maybe some of you guys have self-worth issues because that is the card of self-worth. Um, so you guys, yeah, just let spirit teach you. They are trying to contact you. If you guys can, go somewhere and go ground yourselves like and in nature because that helps a lot. So um, and go by yourselves if you can. That doesn't mean you can't hang out with friends. Obviously, you can. But if you can, go out on your own. Go take a walk. Um maybe listen to some music because they could like you know try to teach you something through a song you never know um or don't listen to music and just sit you know by a tree journal something something because they are trying to tell you something and it's it's really hard to get to you pile one because i feel like you guys have so much going on in your head okay i'll say that um and in the subconscious area that just kind of it, it it kind of interferes with them going through to you and you guys are so close to being there pile one let me tell you guys so 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 close um we have power over difficulty reclaiming your power yeah you guys i feel like and this like woman is like oh my gosh she's so cool because she has like her hands like like this <laughs> kind of like she's like summoning something um and it does look pretty chaotic but in a beautiful way there's I feel like there's a moon behind her as well, okay? Um, and spirit is trying to help you reclaim your power. Because maybe you guys think you're in your power with the emperor here. This is someone that definitely can be. Um, however, I'm more so getting some shadow aspects when it comes to the emperor, okay? Yeah. Um, you have the power to, you know get back up over whatever difficult situation that you've been going through you guys whatever it can be literally anything um and they're reminding you of that you have a lot of power within yourself pile and you guys are very strong people and you need to believe that um and not let your ego not let past thoughts past things that have happened fight you because it is all you like this, this is, this whole fight is like you against you, pile one, is what I'm seeing. Um, we have dear here, it says trust, approach the situation with a light heart. Yeah, you guys, a lot of you guys do have to lighten your heart. I feel like some of you guys are, it doesn't matter if I'm talking to a, uh, a female or male. Um, you know, the emperor is, you know, sometimes with the emperor, People can show up as like, I don't need no one, I'm fine on my own, I'll be fine, blah, 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 you know. And I feel like you guys do need to lighten, again, with the hollow bone, you guys do need to lighten up a little bit. I do, like, sense a little bit of tension from you guys, Pio One, okay, regarding whatever the situation is. And I will say, this tension is coming out of fear for a lot of you guys. Like, for the majority of you guys, this tension, these obstacles in front of you are because you're scared. You're scared maybe of an outcome. You're scared to go for something. You're just, you're scared. Um, you're scared that you're gonna, it's not gonna go your way. You're gonna be left out in the cold. And um, when you're letting fear get in the way, right, or just any sort of type of ego, uh, you are not trusting, and pile one please know that when i'm saying this i'm not saying oh my god yeah you know it's easy overnight tomorrow you're gonna feel like 100 percent better and you're gonna be able to do whatever you want like <laughs> no obviously it's not that easy um it takes practice it takes time and you know in the journey of trusting you fall down absolutely i know that's happened to me too um so please know that that's completely normal to fall down but you need to get back up Okay, um, the one thing I will say, Pio One, is you guys do have a lot of hope. Like, no matter how, you know, your ego shows up sometimes and maybe you become your own obstacle, like your own interference, there is still a lot of hope within you. And that's what spirit is pretty much keeping alive for you as well. 
and that hope is for a reason they do want you to trust in the process if you look at this card like we have the two deers here right and i don't know if you guys can see the third one here it's like i hope the camera is picking it up it is a deer right but it's a spirit form and you don't see it right um you don't see it but spirit is saying you need to trust it you need to trust in the process uh, we have Magic Stream. I absolutely love this card. Yeah. So with the Magic Stream, you guys, I am seeing like Spirit is saying there's a lot of magic that's about to take place, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, 18 adds up to a 9. Okay. It's like you guys are really super duper freaking close to whatever this goal is that you have in mind. And you guys, because the number 9 is one step away from completion, which is a 10, right? I mean, you guys do have three tens here. So very, very interesting. Um, I am sensing that part of you needs to go with the flow. There's even like a rainbow here, all right, which represents miracles. Yeah. There is magic happening behind the scenes, pile one. But you need to flow with spirit and not against the current <laughs> of spirit, okay? look how beautiful this is love begins and i really love this with the ten of cups here i feel like for some of you guys it could relate to like a, a sort of love situation okay please only take it as it resonates and for others of you guys this is a new beginning right this is the ace of cups actually okay this is the ace of cups so yeah yeah you guys with the ten of cups and the six of cups as the crowning and here with the love begins if you can see there are two cards with like water flowing down into a stream which i think is really really cool because they're two cards from two different decks um this new beginning is yours if you want it pile one you're so close to having it it's just that i don't know you guys uh you know overall like i said there is a big message here that spirit is trying to get your attention if you just would loosen up a little bit. Um, pile one. Yeah, you need to loosen up a little bit. Go with the flow. Let destiny take its course. And again, they are trying to teach you something or tell you something. It'll be different, like I said, pile one, for all of you guys, but they are. They're like, it's almost like they're giving you some sort of willpower here with the reclaiming you po your power. You have the power of what it takes to take certain, uh, take certain actions, to make certain choices, right? So I don't know what's going on with this emperor here. I kind of want to... Should we? Mm. <laughs> okay, so this part, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, clarify the emperor. But just know that this clarification loves is when it gets more specific so this part won't resonate with everyone all right let's do it what is this emperor my loves what is this emperor we have death Ooh, okay so yeah there's transformation happening within you pile one i definitely see that we have two of wands in the reverse. I feel like some of you guys are trying your hardest not to make a decision right now. And maybe you guys have to. I don't know. Let's get the third card. What is this emperor? What is this emperor? Because the two of wands is, about, is a card about decision making. Too many. I'm not going to take all those. Just one more, please, for that emperor. Okay, let's see. And we have the four of cups in reverse. You know, it's really funny, you guys. Six of pentacles, yeah. You guys need to stabilize yourselves. Um, you, I have to say, you guys, I think what's so funny is the pig in this exact suit is the emperor in this deck and if you see there's a skull and death is about change so you guys i i love this so much because it's definitely resonating like 
there is a change happening to this emperor. So Pio one. Yeah, there is a change happening within you. And maybe you guys are kind of finding that uh, uncomfortable and change is uncomfortable. But there is there. They, it's because they're trying to get you to teach you something. I don't know. Um, yeah, Pio one. This is beautiful. There is a very like heavy masculine energy. So whoever this masculine energy is. Yeah. With the two of wands in the reverse. I, I, and look, you have the four of cups in the reverse. So it's like spirit is trying to teach you something. You're like, not right now. Or I don't want that right now or something. And it's in the reverse, right? So you are going to get taught this regardless. <laughs> Like, your heart does want to be taught. I do see that. Because if it truly didn't, this would have come out upright. And you saying, like, I don't want this, right? I don't want to learn the lesson. But you guys do. Because I sense you guys that you guys do want change. Whoever I'm talking to, that's the emperor. Yeah, and there is stability being bought. Like, when you allow this change to happen, you're going to feel, I feel like, a lot more lighter, a lot more freer. All right, you just need to t trust the process and it is bringing you towards this beautiful ten of cups pile one i'm gonna end this with pulling out um a oracle and i'll leave it at that pile one but what a beautiful message yeah allow spirit to teach you um yeah it, it is uncomfortable to change isn't it uh it's scary because it's change <laughs> but sometimes it's necessary I don't know if you guys have ever heard that song. I think it's from, um, it's from NF and I think it's called Change. So go ahead and check that out. It's, it's yeah, I really like that song. Change from NF. All right, my loves, let's see. For some reason that came into mind. Can I get a little message for my pile one, please? You guys, I just want one. I just want one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have, ooh, 11 is a master number. How cute. We have a little bit, a little 33 that's not even part of the card, but it's on like on a little tennis ball, I think is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe 33 is also an important number to you or you guys have been seeing it. But it says, look for the signs, pay attention, expect an answer. So maybe you guys have been, you guys, look, I'm telling you that they are trying to contact you and tell you something. Okay. And again, maybe you're too busy in your mind or you're letting ego get the best of you. Okay. With your actions, again, with your thinking, it'll be all sorts of things. And you're really letting that interfere from spirit getting at to you, okay? Um, so pile one, look for the signs, pay attention, expect an answer. Absolutely. I'm going to leave it at that pile one. I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile two. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, pile two for you guys that chose the beautiful blue lace agate. Let's go ahead and see what is it that your spirit guides want to tell you. Let me get a, a sip of my coffee. I shouldn't be drinking coffee at 6.42 p.m., but you know what? I love coffee, you guys. What can I say? Oh, and I was telling pile one that I'm going to start linking down be below the color of my nail polish because I do get questions about that. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to match, we can match. <laughs> um, I do want to start off with this card here. And it says, have faith in your dreams. All right, pile one. So you're hearing this from spirit for a reason. Have faith in your dreams. I can already tell that with you guys, pile two, it, obviously, whatever message comes through, it is going to 
probably be revolving around the dreams that are, you know, that you want to manifest. Um, it can be multiple or one. But let's see what spirit wants to tell you today. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Fool. We have the Two of Swords. And we have the Page of Swords. Interesting. All right. And let me get the bottom of your deck here in just a minute, you guys. All right, pile two. Give me a second to look at your tarot. What is it that spirit is trying to tell you? Pile two, what a beautiful message this is, because I feel like, yeah, I love this. So the first card out, you guys, is the Queen of Cups herself, okay? And it's so funny that, like, I wanted to open every pile up with the, the card from the Moonology deck, okay? And yours is Half Faith in Your Dreams. And, you know, interestingly enough, the Queen of Cups is someone that continues to believe continues to believe continues to believe continues to nurture her dreams so on and so forth like she keeps going she keeps going and she keeps going and um i will say my candle uh has gotten a lot like dimmer okay so i feel like maybe some of you guys like it got a lot like the it's still on but it's like a lot more dim than how it was so i feel like you guys could be like feeling tired or something like that okay because maybe you're choosing to believe you're choosing to believe you're choosing to believe and maybe what you're choosing to believe hasn't manifested or i'm just getting that with those two these two cards here okay <clears throat> and the, like the energy that i'm feeling and you're just like well Yeah, I'm almost kind of getting like, um, you guys took a risk, right? Because uh, with the full card here, this is like a little baby, right? A little baby, and he's like about to jump off and go ahead and start flying for his first time, right? So I do feel like you guys took a risk on whatever this dream was to believe in. Um, it'll, it can be all sorts of things, you guys. I am keeping this reading very general, so you guys let me know what that dream is down below if you want to. But you guys did take a risk in believing this, and I feel like with the Two of Swords here, now you're just like you know, was this the, the right decision to make? Am I on the right path? Um, like so many things can be going through your head with the, through your head with the two of swords. All right. Um, I feel like it's forming like literally like a black, like maybe your headspace is like kind of blank right now. Cause you're just like, I, or it's literally on fire, like with just with so many thoughts. Like for some of you guys, it's like almost like dead, <laughs> your headspace. You're just like, I don't want to think. And for others of you guys, it's just too much. Um, yeah, you can be on either side. But I am seeing a pile too with, with the, like, we have the page of swords showing up as well, right? <clears throat> This is, I can't get enough of how much a beautiful message this is here, pile, pile two. Um, you need to trust your intuition, okay? <clears throat> you were called to take this risk for a reason and to believe in this dream for a reason. Just because you haven't seen it in 3D yet doesn't mean that it's not true. We have two beautiful cards here okay uh i you know sometimes i wait for the oracle but i am getting like everything is connecting for you guys pile two very beautifully actually because we have guide here and it says the illuminated path and if you look at her you guys 
Wow. Pile two, you guys, like, maybe some of you guys are actual guides and you guys don't even realize it, or some of you guys are actual guides, like, you guys are already doing that as either a profession, a profession or as a side thing or something like that, or um, even, like, there's other jobs that can be guides too, right? Maybe you're a counselor, a therapist, um, maybe you teach, there, there's just so many different types of jobs that like include being a guide okay it doesn't have to me be tarot (laughs) um but if you look at her like she's kind of gone because like her eyes are all white right it's almost like she's in the spirit realm herself okay and if you pay attention oh my god this is so cool pile too i have to say you guys are so cool (laughs) i think you guys are so cool um she's illuminating her own path it says the illuminated path guide she's like not even looking right in front of her yet she's illuminating her own path that's how much power this girl has in the card so you can be a guy or girl it doesn't matter pile too but please know that the power that you have is beyond it's just i'll say it like that it is just beyond it's even like I'm even a little bit taken aback of how much this power this woman has, okay? Pile two, like, and I don't think you guys, maybe some of you guys take it lightly or don't realize it, but you guys are, you're literally clearing out your own path. Like, if you want something done, yes, you're gonna have it, pile pile two. I don't know why, but like, I feel like maybe spirit is telling you that they've given you this power to be a guide for others, but also for yourself. Like, you're not alone. I'm not saying that like you're your own guide and that's it. No, you have your spirit guides with you. I, I see that. It's it's very beautiful. But they're telling you to have faith because pile two, they gave you this power for a reason. Whoever I am talking to, you have some sort of, whoa. It's like, you guys, you guys are literally creating your own, you're guiding yourself, okay? And you don't even realize it because this girl is not looking straight at her path. She's looking to the side and kind of, it's like she's walking this path, right? But she's looking elsewhere. (laughs) So I feel like you guys don't know that you guys are doing it, but you definitely are. So it's almost like, and with the crown chakra, you guys, that is your how you feed your intuition through your crown chakra. That is how spirit feeds you too, right? That is how they get your attention, your downloads. All of that is through your crown chakra. So both of these cards, you guys, coming out for you as a message, I am really getting piled to that. Um, you already know that this is true. Whatever this is that you're wanting with the with the Queen of Cups, we're going to look at the other energy here in just a second. Um, you're choosing to believe in it and you do believe in it. Your heart's in it because you're supposed to. Like you are, <laughs> you are being guided the right way and spirit gave you the power to guide yourself. Like that is how much power you have piled to. It's kind of, like I said, it's a little trippy. It's a little scary. Um, because yes, they're taking care of you, but they also know that you're so strong that they can kind of be on the sidelines and just kind of like watch you. They don't have to like interfere all the time for whatever reason. Why am I getting that message? I don't know, but they're like, yeah, she's fine. (laughs) Like, because you do this pile two, I sense you do this subconsciously okay maybe even while you sleep because she doesn't have pupils like her eyes are at a blank state i feel like your higher self is the one that's doing this and you don't even realize it um yeah this is amazing i mean like this is so cool pile two i feel like this has to be my favorite reading (laughs) because this is so cool um we also have the page of swords here which i was going to get to and then this kind of caught my attention some of you guys i feel like are wanting validation with the page of swords you guys are trying to like seek answers maybe from tarot it could be from other readers it could be from god it could be from like it could literally be from anything it could be from friends family like maybe you guys want to hear that whatever your dream is like yes it's gonna happen or 
um, yeah, this is going to manifest. Like, you're wanting validation when there's no need for it. And I don't mean to upset anyone that's listening that has tried to get validation. We all go through that. Like, who doesn't want to hear... Um, who does? Who doesn't want to hear you know, their dreams being supported. We all want to hear our dreams being supported, right? So pile two, please know that when I'm saying that, I am coming from a space where I understand what you guys are going through. But spirit is really saying like, you don't need to find that clarity because you, you know. And pile two, I have to say on whatever, like whoever is watching this that was really attracted to this, your journey or your path, this is part of it that you need to learn is that maybe others won't agree with you maybe you might hear elsewhere or maybe you might even get in the way of yourself at times feeling confused right with the two of swords and the page of swords here i am getting that where you're just like "Mm," wanting answers and maybe not getting them or something like that but spirit is really saying like that is part of your journey that you need to trust in what you're being called to follow and what you're being called to believe in you took this risk for a reason hey what is there to lose (laughs) um maybe for some of you guys you guys are literally answering that question why i can lose this i can lose that i don't know you guys um at the end of the day you do have to follow your intuition right but i feel like i don't know there is a message here that you've taken this path for a reason underlying energy we have the seven of uh wands here crowning energy is the page of wands and i don't know if the mic is picking up the sirens (laughs) um yeah maybe some of you guys feel like this is an emergency or something like that like oh my god um overall energy oh that's really cool overall energy is the king of cups And the extra card here we have is the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I do see this is pretty intense. Whatever you guys, you know, if you guys are going through something intense right now, or you guys just have in the past regarding this dream or the situation, okay? Going back to you, who you guys are, pile two, and what you are believing in, it's for a reason. Because I feel like in the subconscious, right, with the Seven of Wands here, there is something that is like that's why you guys keep doing this like it's happening in the higher realms and it's also happening within you and your subconscious there is something lit okay that really um overcrowds any type of obstacle like or interference in your heart space i am looking at this as the heart space i don't know why <clears throat> but there is something lit that is just not gonna go out it's not gonna go out it's going to continuously be on fire until you have it (laughs) um and maybe even beyond because you love this so much whatever this dream is whatever this plan is and i'm seeing that literally these obstacles will always just be at the sidelines maybe at times you feel like they interfere and you get into this two of swords headspace right but really in reality this will never stop illuminating And it's for a reason. It's to make you to keep going, to keep going, and to keep going. I like. I am getting a side note, you guys, with the um, Queen of Cups and the the King of Cups. This could be a dream about being with your counterpart, okay, or meeting someone that is gonna be your counterpart because i am seeing two counterparts here, right? The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So I think that's very interesting. <clears throat> so for some of you guys you could relate to it in that way okay um where you, yeah because this is the overall message is the king of cups so you literally could be waiting for like a guy or um a counterpart i don't mean to say guy it's because it's the king but really any like please take it as it resonates you guys we're talking about energies not gender some of you are wishing for a certain woman okay but um whoever this king of cups is yeah keep believing you guys i'm I'm telling you you're being guided the right way and you're you you need to have faith in your dreams um keep going okay as like you can get validation if you want or try to seek it you guys but no you don't need it like that's what spirit keeps saying is 
you are guiding yourself. That is so cool. I think that's so cool. Like I have to, I know I keep saying that, but I think that's so cool that you guys are guiding yourselves because spirit gave you that power to do that. Um, we do have the page of wands as the crowning energy as well, you guys. So I just feel like this is wow. <laughs> yeah, there is like a huge transformation going on because of like the snake here, right? And I feel like you guys, the situation that you're in or even you, you guys are continuously being ignited to keep going because these flowers are blooming, right? This feminine energy is blooming and it's continuously... And this is in your crowning energy. You do have the crowning chakra, you guys. So keep, like, please know that maybe right now you guys could be getting more creative at times or something like that. Um, and if you look at this, sorry, I'm getting so many messages. This snake is making that sign of the infinity, right? Which is the yeah, infinite number of, like, love, right? So for some of you guys, it will relate as a love message. But you guys, if not... It, you know, with the King of Cups being the overall message, it just could be about a dream that you're just very, very, like, passionate about and that you really want to uh, see succeed, okay? Um, it could be about your creative endeavors, okay, as well. But pile two, whatever the case is, you are blooming and you are meant to bloom. Right now, Spirit is going to be feeding you a lot to your crown chakra. So, um, it is going to be an intense time. I feel like you guys are growing, uh, tremendously. Like I, you guys are already at this level. Okay. But you guys are growing even more, which is pile two. I have to say, I feel like you guys are just going to be certain like this next level that you're going to be on because we do have soul growth, right? It says llama growth is never easy. Have faith and trust in the journey. So yeah, through this through this, you trying to reach your goal, you're growing even more. You're learning more about your power. You're, le you're learning that you're capable of more than what you already know, like have known to be. Okay? Um, look what's coming up for you guys. Peaks of joy. Right? Yeah. And it's funny because like even in your spread, we're not getting a lot of like the end result. Right? Like really you guys pile to what spirit is saying is you're being guided in the right direction whatever your dream is have faith in it because it's supposed to bloom that's it that's literally it pile two um and like really what we're just seeing is you're going to be so happy <laughs> like that is all they're wanting to say is you're going to be so freaking happy i feel like whenever this dream does manifest you're going to be like a little kid like yippee like <laughs> this is so cute like you're literally going to be flying in the air or your head's going to be in the clouds or something but but yeah part of your journey is to try like your biggest thing pile two is like really knowing without validation from others that this is going to happen and that is hard you guys that is really really hard i will say please know that it's normal to fall down please know that it's normal to doubt to have fears all of that is normal but you guys every time that you go through another doubt or another fear and you fall down and you get back up again each time that you get back up you do get back up stronger than than who you were with the last obstacle okay so I know it's almost like it does get harder, but at the same time, you're getting stronger, <clears throat> okay, until this fully unfolds, which they're not telling us that either, right? We have Willow the Wisp, but treasure hit, treasures hidden in the shadows. Yeah, Spirit is being really sneaky with this one. We do have two number eights here too, because I do see that eight with the infinity sign, and 62 is also a number eight. So, um... There are treasures hidden in the shadows. You guys don't see them. And this is the universe. They're being those sneaky, sneaky sneaks. <laughs> I love when they do that. I think it's so cute. And, you know, spirit, our spirit guys are sneaks because they want to see you, like, they want to see you like this when it does happen, okay? They, they want it to be unexpected. What fun would it be if you knew, oh, your dream is going to manifest um, by the end of December, like, how, what fun would that be? You know what I mean? Like, I guess, like, if for some of you guys that don't like surprises, 
But no, like it's it's fun to be caught off guard and, and that's what our spirit guides always want to do with us, you guys. <laughs> um yeah, you guys. This is really nice. So please know that I do see a pile two butterflies could be very significant because there's like there's a, a huge butterfly like here and here and um i see a butterfly here with this little girl and there's a butterfly here too so you have butterflies in like from three different cards and three different from three different decks okay there's a butterfly here too so there is a lot of transformation taking place that you guys don't even know it's hidden in the realms right <clears throat> treasures hidden in the shadows yeah you guys don't even see it happening um, and if you think about shadows too, shadows, it's hard to go through shadows and shadow work. So please know that when you're going through these obstacles again and, and these, um, you know, what you may find to be like stipulations or just, you know, just hard things because you guys have been through it, pile two, been tested over and over and over again. But... um it's i don't know what to say pile two pile, spirit is really just coming through with you're on the right path have faith in this and for a lot of you guys it could be about a counterpart um and this is coming true all right so yeah my loves i'm gonna leave it at that what a beautiful message i i'm still really stunned you guys i'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile three and yeah, you guys, I will see you guys next time. Bye, my love. Hey, my pile three for you guys that chose this little piece of rose quartz. Let's go ahead and see what is it that spirit wants to tell you at this time. So I did want to um, start with the Moonology deck or the Moonology card on top. Oh, and I was going to say, I've been telling every pile, I'm going to start linking down below my nail color for those of you guys that are interested because I do get questions sometimes. So yeah, we can, we can match if you guys want to. <laughs> um... So let's see, what is it that a spirit wants to tell you guys? So to start off, we have the answers you need are coming. Interesting. So pile two, I do feel like as of right now, you guys could be, you guys could be searching for some sort of answers when it comes to whatever the situation is, okay? Maybe you guys are not clear on something and you need some answers and spirit is saying, hey, listen, this, this, um, these answers are going to come your way. All right. So we have the King of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. We have Ego. We have the Six of Cups. And I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom of your deck here and we'll get straight into it. All right, pile two. So what, or pile two, why did I say that? Pile three. Um, what is it that spirit wants to tell you so bad? Okay, pile three. So I feel like for you guys, pile three. I feel like, okay, I'm not sure what you guys are going through right now, but I do see an ego death happening here, okay? Whether it's on your end or someone else's end, but I do see that happening and it's very beautiful actually. Um, 
And when I say ego, I feel like a lot of people, like, uh, obviously ego, it is, like, ego can be a nasty thing, right? But ego can, like, just like this card says it here, I really like what it says here. It says, the illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits, yeah. Ego can be something as simple as, like, negative thinking. Doubting can be considered ego, okay? Because it's not really truly who you are. Um, ego can come in the form of fear as well, okay? So, um, so if you see here, I feel like oh, some sort of feminine energy. I feel like you guys that are watching, okay? Because I do have a lot of feminine energy watching. Your ego is being cut, okay? Um... So maybe you guys, I don't know what you guys are going through, but whatever the situation is, you guys are feeling like she's even blindfolded in that card, right? I feel like you guys maybe feel trapped or like hopeless in some sort of way, okay? And Spirit is letting you know that that is all going to go away and they're helping you to clear out whatever ego you have in the way as of right now okay and i do see that because you have the five of wands here okay so i do feel like maybe for a lot of you guys pile three you guys could be go like maybe even facing people that are a little bit they don't have to be toxic some can be toxic or they could just be no good for you maybe some people try to get into your head too much okay because it's funny that we have the five of uh, the five of wands and the eagle card right next to each other, right? So I'm literally saying that you need to break free from people that don't serve you, okay? Uh, it could literally be friends. It could be some family members that are just, you know, not good for you because, um, I am connecting this to like your oracles that you have here. You have gathering around the power of community. And then we have panther protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who and who you give it away to freely. Yeah, you guys. Pile three. I do sense you guys are very like very, very, very kind people. Very loving people as well. Because I am picking up that energy. And because of that, because you are so kind and so loving and so sweet... I do feel like at times the people that you attract um, sometimes may overpower you in some way, okay? I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. And I'm connecting all these four cards together. Like, um, they could, you know, just like this says, gathering around the power of community, the people that you surround yourself with is very powerful okay if you surround yourself with people that are negative you're gonna start to think negatively because you just keep hearing those thoughts right what you feed your brain what you feed your mind is very very powerful you guys please keep that in mind and i do feel like maybe some people around you need to be literally cut loose from you now that doesn't mean that you know um you have to be rude to them or anything like that no it's just spend less time with them if you can because your your stability matters pile three okay for some of you guys i am getting that specific message and i don't know why we're starting off with that but it is very important um i feel like for some of you guys there is a specific message that maybe you're like watching yourself too carefully because for the fear of the fact of how people think of you, like you're too scared about what other people think for some of you guys, okay? Because this man is like holding this like bright wand and he's looking at himself in all in all these mirrors, right? Like who cares about what other people think, you guys? I, I'm also getting like a message that you care too much because this guy is looking at himself, right? Um, I do feel like you guys are trying to reclaim your power in some sort of way, pile three, and it's a beautiful thing. Let that happen, okay? Um, I am definitely getting that message as well. So for some of you guys, it's yourself, but for others of you guys, it literally, for most of you guys, I'm getting that it's outside people that you need to cut ties with because they're getting in the way of like what you believe, what you want, okay, what is meant for you. Um, because with the King of Cups here, you guys, this is trustworthy, honor, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe. 
uh, a solid romantic relationship. I'm not going to read the rest, but I do feel like a lot of you guys embody the queen, the king of cups. You guys know your truth. You guys know what it is that you stand for. Whether, you know, you're a woman watching or not, you embody the king of cups. You know um, what you're after. You know what you love. You know what you want to do. You know what you want in life, right? Um, you do stand in your emotion. This king of cups is in the water and, you know, his ships have sailed. Okay, he makes he he making moves. There's a little fish coming out of the water as well. Okay, and um, I'm getting a very specific message, you guys. Pile three, whoever is watching, I feel like you have your eyes set on maybe some sort of reconciliation because we have a six of cups here at the end right? And he's looking at him, but what is in between? Chaos. <laughs> because we have the five of wands and we have ego. So he has his eyes set on the six of cups, right? But um, so regardless, whether this is you or someone that you know, pile three, I don't know. I'm just going to keep talking as if it's you. But um, this is in the way, okay? Is this five of wands and this ego, um, yeah, and spirit is letting you know that this ego is going to go away. This is going to be, you know, um, cut. Okay. So that's, so that this reconciliation can happen or that this reunion can happen. All right, you guys. Oh my gosh. There's a little puppy. He's so cute in the background. Oh my God. I love this so much. And this is divinely guided, you guys. There is like an angel in the background of like bringing you guys together. <clears throat> it's almost like Pio 3. This King of Cups is like this little baby boy here, right? So I feel like you guys are going to like be really happy when this happens. <clears throat> Pio 3. I don't know why I'm getting the message that this could be about a person. Okay. Um... Yeah, whether you've met them or not, all right? I do feel like this person has a lot of um, feelings for you, okay, is what I'm seeing. And they do have their eyes on getting together with you. And it's going to be very healing is what I'm seeing. Um, however, there's just some obstacles that need to be cleared, and they will be cleared, okay? Because I do see this person maturing and growing at this time, all right? Um if this is about someone in your life, I do see that they need to cut ties with the people that they surround their, themselves with. And maybe even some of them need to form some sort of group. Because I love what this says. It's such a true statement. The power of community, you guys, um, is very powerful. You know, who you surround yourself with, again, you guys, is very, it, it, it is, it is, uh, it's important, okay? So... Or this could be you guys, okay, Pio 3. So who, please take it as it resonates. But underlying energy, we have the sun. Crowning energy, we have the wheel of fortune. What a beautiful card. And extra card here, we have the three of pentacles. Interesting. Yeah. That's funny. With the three of pentacles here, it says recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative end of ours. And here you have recognition and reward as well. <laughs> we have two threes and then your pile three as well. So three, three, three could be important. I don't know why that number has been like coming out a lot. And there's another three here. So three, 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 three. <laughs> um... Yeah, you guys, there's a lot of happiness. The sun is in the underlying energy. There's a lot of happiness that's about to bloom. That is still, look, if you look, this is a very beautiful sun card. This person is on their way and they're winning, right? This is the victory, the victory flag. Absolutely, they're winning. And it's scripted. This is a beautiful sun card, you guys. This has already been written, okay? Um, there's power that this, I feel like there's power that some sort of union holds, Pile three, I do feel like for you guys, this is a revolt. This does revolve around reunion or union with someone, okay? Um, and it's just taking time because if you look at this, there's a little, I don't know what we call these, like the little, you guys know what it is, the little timing things. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys. Um, and that is that is happening in hand. This is almost kind of reminding me, you guys, um, for whatever reason, of like the justice card as well, the way that he's holding both of these things. Um, this is this is meant to be pile three. And it's funny with that timing thing as the underlying energy and the crowning energy is your will of fortune. This is when things happen in divine timing. The wheel of fortune is about divine timing, right? And we have a little angel watching, like watching this, right? This is really cool. Yeah, sudden or unexpected progress, you guys. Like she's <laughs> she's kind of smirking too, okay, while she's like turning that wheel. So I'm telling you guys, our spirit guides are so sneaky and they really do sneak up on you guys. Like you guys have no idea how sneaky they are. They're just like, you don't know how this is going to change your life. Bam. <laughs> she like, <laughs> go ahead. Oh my God. Whoever has this job up there and with the divine must love it because she's like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to spin the wheel. Uh, this is too funny. For some reason, I am seeing the number 21 here, but also as a four. Okay, so 21 could be a specific number for you. So can the number four. All right. Uh, and if you think about it, 21 does add up to a three. Something could happen on the 21st of a month. Um, I don't know, loves. Uh, for some reason, I do see that. And I keep seeing it for whatever reason. 21 or four. But anyways, uh, this thing is manifesting into your life. And look at this. Overall energy is the three of swords, you guys. So you guys are, maybe you guys are like heartbroken that something hasn't happened. Maybe that the reconciliation hasn't happened or that you haven't, you know, been in union with this person or something like that. And it's hurt you. And your angels are healing you because he's holding her hand, right? They are healing you guys. Um, pile three, please know that. Yeah, it says let go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges, you guys. And I do keep seeing two people here. Like I see two, I, I see masculine energy and I also see feminine energy, you guys. You guys really don't know what's about to come. You don't know when or how, but there is something like magical happening behind the scenes and it's all going to happen in divine timing for you guys, pile three. For some of you guys, you guys could be in the public eye with this recognition, recognition and reward card, okay? Um, but regardless, even if you're not in the public eye, I am seeing that you're going to be like, this is your due. You're, you're, it's almost like you're owed this, okay, pile three, um, yeah, I do feel like this is meant to happen here. And Spirit is just telling you guys to ride the wave for now. The answers you need are coming. Maybe you guys have been asking, you know, when is, like, if you've been asking, when is this going to happen? Or, like, how is this going to happen? You know, they won't directly tell you when because you're not supposed to know Pile 3. But whatever, maybe you just want clarity on some sort of situation or you're asking for a sign. Spirit is saying that they are going to send you that. But right now, they just need you to ride the wave. Go with the flow. Because there, you guys, there is so much happiness surrounding you. And you guys are protected. Please know that you guys are protected, you guys. Um, for some of you guys, it is like your spirit guides could be telling you, you know, to surround yourself if you're feeling low, because the overall energy is the three of swords. So for some of you guys, if you guys are feeling low, maybe sad or something like that, go hang out with friends that will illuminate you because these little things are being illuminated, right? Go have fun. If you can talk to a friend or something, because I do see it will help you out a lot. But yeah, you guys are not seeing everything that's happening behind the scenes. A lot of karmic cycles are ending is what I'm seeing. Okay, pile three. So you guys don't need to worry about that. Um, we also have summoning power. Oh my goodness. Okay. Instinct, intellect, and control. Yeah. And you know what's so funny? Like there's two people here that are both powerful. She is like, whatever she's holding onto, she's holding it up in the air and she's holding it up. Like she is summoning her power. And this guy is too, regardless of like, 
<clears throat> what conflicts are there, he is still choosing to take that stick and rise, right? And stick it up in the air and say, okay, I got this. I'll be very honest. I do feel like my feminine energy has it a lot more put together than my masculine energy does because he looks like he's doing something silly, all right? Like he doesn't know really how to do it <laughs> and he'll get there, okay? But my feminine energy, whoever this is, you guys really got it. Um, it says instinct, intellect, and control. Yeah. You guys do have like a really high intuition, you guys, with this instinct that I'm seeing here. You guys are very smart and you guys do have control of a lot of like how things happen because we, I do see the divine feminine here. Okay. With this big moon in the background. All right. And then we have two wolves here right? And it's almost like she has control of those wolves too, because her hand is above them and one's sitting down and one's protecting her, one's watching her. So you guys could have wolves as like a spirit. Pile three, I have to say you guys probably do have a lot of spirit. Um, I don't know if you guys connect with your spirit animals, but please do so in meditation um, or even like, I don't know if you write in your journal. I know that sounds weird. If you guys don't believe in it, that's okay. But try connecting with your spirit animals because I do see, um, you guys have some spirit animals here that are really, really like protecting you through the divine. They have been like assigned to you. Okay. So whatever you have your eyes on, they have their eyes on the same prize. Okay. They're not going to let anyone get in the way of it. Um, literally, like they will not. Um, but pile three, you guys have a lot of control in your hands. You guys don't even know it. So if you guys are feeling down, what spirit is saying is you guys can reclaim your power and have control over your life again. You know, whatever you're sad about pile three, um, do something to make it a little bit more positive. I'm not saying that overnight, oh my God, it's just like a, a switch went off, right? And tomorrow you're going to be feeling like the happiest person in the world. Can that happen? Yes, but just small little baby steps. So maybe you guys do need to go hang out with a friend. Maybe you just guys need to get out of the house if you can, or read one of your favorite books or watch one of your like favorite comedy shows or a funny movie or something that'll make you happy, okay? But what Spirit is letting you know is that behind the scenes, there is something so... Like, it's going to make you guys so happy, you guys. And with a lot of you guys, like I said, it does revolve around union. Um, please know that behind the scenes, like, this will not stop from this leading to that. Okay, you guys? It, it won't. I see destiny here with the Wheel of Fortune as well. Like, this is going to happen. And she's smirking that angel right there. So she's just waiting. Like, she is just waiting for someone to say, okay, go, it's time. And she's going to spin it and it's going to happen. So pile three, watch out because, I don't know, <laughs> you guys are definitely going to be caught off guard as, you know, our spirit guides always want us to be. They are so sneaky. I love them though. They, they are amazing. Um, but yeah, there is something beautiful here. You guys, please know you're protected and please watch out with who you, uh, who you hang around with. Okay. So yeah, my loves, I am going to leave it at that. Ooh, I love that message. You guys, it was a very beautiful message. And I actually, I want to pull out, uh, an Oracle. I don't know if I did it for pile two. I don't think I did. Oh, I hate when that happens. Like I always, <laughs> I forget to pull out oracles. And I have the pile, like the deck here in front of me too. Like, why do I forget? I don't know. Don't tell pile too. They had like an amazing reading though, so it's okay. All right. Can we get a message for my beautiful pile three, my loves, please? And we have, I am present. Okay, you have the number 44, which is crazy because that was one of the numbers I was telling you about. You also have it here. Um, expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. Ooh. Okay, so I am present. You guys, there is something powerful here. Expand your stellar gateway. I am am that i am yeah you guys are a lot of power pile three like more so much so much power okay and you guys need to know that you are i am 
presence. 44 is also a master number. For some reason, I feel like pulling one more to you guys. But you guys do have a lot of power, you guys. And that's what Spirit keeps telling you. Believe in that. We even see that, like, this symbol. I forget what it's called. That, like, star thing. Which is also very powerful. And it also symbolizes protection. Okay. Oh my god, you guys, what a beautiful card. You got 28. It says, pool of Christ's light. Open your heart. Spread unconditional love. You guys are literally swimming in the light of Christ. Yeah, maybe pile three. Maybe some of you guys believe in JC or something, okay? Um... Oh my god. And please, like I said, you guys are protected. There's gold butterflies here. Everything's gold. You, you guys are swimming in a like a pool of Christ's light, which is gold. It's so beautiful. Um, keep loving. Keep believing. And this is a white, like a unicorn, right? So beautiful, you guys. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, my love. And it's I love how it's looking on camera, too, because it literally is so magical, you guys. Please keep spreading your love. Keep doing your thing, okay? And also with the Three of Pentacles, like, keep doing things that you love, okay? Do what you love is what it says, right? And with the open your heart and spread unconditional love, Spirit wants you to continue to do the things that you like, do the things that make you happy, while behind the scenes that they work on whatever it is that needs to be planned out, okay? It is unfolding as it should, you guys. So, yeah, my loves, I am going to leave it at that. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for just always being so sweet. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.